Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for July 18th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day Fellowship We were still trying to find emotional security by being dominating or dependent upon others. Even when our fortunes had not ebbed that much, and we were nevertheless found ourselves alone in the world, we still vainly tried to be secure by some unhealthy kind of domination or dependence. For those of us who were like that, AA had a very special meaning. Through it, we began to learn right relations with people who understand us. We don't have to be alone anymore. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, pages 116 to 117. Thought to consider, who we are is God's gift to us. Who we become is our gift to God. AA Acronyms, YANA, you are not alone. Just for today, good question from Easy Does It. When we find ourselves uptight and even frantic, we can ask ourselves occasionally, am I really that indispensable? Or, is this hurry really necessary? What a relief to find the honest answer is frequently no. And such devices actually serve, in the long run, not only to help us get over the drinking problem and its old ways, they also enable us to become far more productive because we can serve and channel our energy better. We arrange priorities more sensibly. We learn that many actions, once considered vital, can be eliminated if they are thoughtfully re-examined. How much does it really matter is a very good question. Living Sober, pages 45 to 46. Daily Reflections. Grateful for what I have. During this process of learning more about humility, the most profound result of all was the change in our attitude toward God. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 75. Today, my prayers consist mostly of saying thank you to my higher power for my sobriety and for the wonder of God's abundance. But I need to ask also for help and the power to carry out His will for me. I no longer need God each minute to rescue me from the situations I get myself into by not doing His will. Now my gratitude seems to be directly linked to humility. As long as I have the humility to be grateful for what I have, God continues to provide for me. As Bill sees it, arrogance and its opposite. A very tough-minded prospect was taken to his first AA meeting, where two speakers, or maybe lecturers, themed their talks on God as I understand him. Their attitude oozed arrogance. In fact, the final speaker got far overboard on his personal theological convictions. Both were repeating my performance of years before. Implicit in everything they said was the same idea. Folks, listen to us. We have the only true brand of AA and you'd better get it. The new prospect said he'd had it, and he had. His sponsor protested that this wasn't real AA but it was too late. Nobody could touch him after that. That's from a grapevine, April 1961. I see humility for today as a safe and secure stance midway between violent emotional extremes. It is a quiet place where I can keep enough perspective and enough balance to take my next small step up the clearly marked road that points toward eternal values. Also from a grapevine, June 1961. Somehow, being alone with God doesn't seem as embarrassing as facing up to another person. Until we actually sit down and talk aloud about what we have so long hidden, our willingness to clean house is still largely theoretical. When we are honest with another person, it confirms that we have been honest with ourselves and with God. 12 and 12, page 60. Big book quote, 
Sometimes we hear an alcoholic say that the only thing he needs to do is keep sober. Certainly he must keep sober, for there will be no home if he doesn't. But he is yet a long way from making good to the wife or parents whom for years he has so shockingly treated. Alcoholics Anonymous Into Action, page 82. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Two things can spoil group unity, gossip and criticism. To avoid these divisive things, we must realize that we're all in the same boat. We're like a group of people in a lifeboat after the steamer has sunk. If we're going to be saved, we've got to pull together. It's a matter of life or death for us. Gossip and criticism are sure ways of disrupting any AA group. We're all in AA to keep sober ourselves and to help each other keep sober. And neither gossip nor criticism helps anyone to stay sober. Am I often guilty of gossip or criticism? Meditation for the day. We should try to be grateful for all the blessings we have received and which we do not deserve. Gratitude to God for all his blessings will make us humble. Remember that we could do little by ourselves, and now we must rely largely on God's grace in helping ourselves and others. People do not care much for those who are smug and self-satisfied or those who gossip and criticize, but people are impressed by true humility. So we should try to walk humbly at all times. Gratitude to God and true humility is what makes us effective. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may walk humbly with God. I pray that I may rely on His grace to carry me. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Sarah, and I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.